doesn't even know I'm alive. have to have coffee. How come I have to eat all this? Because it's good for you. Dr. Levitt says... Dr. Levitt, Levitt has bad breath. Why can't we go to see Dr. Lindquist? He lives right next door. Is that where you were this morning? Tara, I have told you not to go over there. We don't know those people. I know them. Almost. Eat your breakfast. Tara? If you take your vitamins, I'll take you shopping with me. Well, how about just to see? The green one's taste. Tara, I eat your vitamins. All of them. You don't have to do that, you know. I want to do it. Honey, we need a housekeeper. This house is too big for you to take care of. No, it isn't. I can do it. What else do I have to do all day? You have a daughter. Who pays absolutely no attention to me. Jeff, I've told her over and over again not to go next door. She was there this morning. Maybe she'll listen to you. Oh, come on, honey. There's no reason why she can't make new friends. Jeff, tell her. Wait. Do as your mother says. Have a good day, honey. I'll call you later. to wait for people, don't you? Come on, Abby, let's go for a little ride.
How many times have I told you you're too young to drive the car? You're going to get hurt one of these days. Mom, I think I'd rather stay home. Don't you feel well? Oh, I'm fine. There's a movie on at 11. I just remembered. You and your movies. Hey, come shopping with me. Come on. Well, I'd really rather stay home. All right, only if you're going to stay in the house and not answer the door. Do you promise? I promise. I'll be as quick as I can. No out, all right? All right. Tara? How'd you know my name? I've seen you before. I'm Joanna. Are you real? Oh, very much so. Do you live around here? No. Nope. Across the water. Over there. I don't know very many people yet. We just moved here. What about the boy over there? Scotty. He's 16. So? I'm only just 12. I'm 18. Ancient. Tell me about your family. My father's a dentist in Seattle. He takes the ferry to Seattle every morning. We just moved from Chicago, so I don't know very many people yet. Except for Scotty. Mom's already yelled at me for being over here today. But I like Scotty. Come on, let's go meet him. Hello, Tara. I don't think we've met. This is Joanna. You handle the boat beautifully. Is she yours, too? Oh, no, that's my grandfather's boat. Would you like to take a look? Yeah. out on the boat whenever you want. Tara, the phone! Oh, no! It's my mom. Will you really take us out on the boat? Oh, yeah, sure. It stopped before I could answer it. She'll be on her way home now. Go up to your room, turn the TV sound really loud, you didn't hear the phone. Thanks. 
Will I see you again? Oh, yes. I'll be back. Relax. Mrs. Benedict? Mrs. Benedict, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Lindquist from next door. We met once before, remember? I'd like to check your reactions. Tara. Where's Tara? She's downstairs with Scotty. Everything's fine now. Just relax. Does that hurt? No. And then Doc carried her upstairs, and Joanna called the police department in the tow truck while mm. Scotty and I put away the groceries. And then Joanna made dinner. It was good, wasn't it? She's a good cook. Mm. And then she called the insurance company after finding the papers in the glove compartment. Mm. She asked them to do their body work, and they said, A1 body shop, and they'll be ready to start on the car Tara, Friday morning. Who is Joanna? She's a girl I met this morning. Well, she certainly has been very helpful. Where is she now? Well, she left after making dinner, but she'll be back soon. Dad, could you stay home tomorrow? We'll see how your mother is. I told your father to go to work, honey. I'm all right. I still think you're more important than his rotten patience. I'll get it. See, I told Daddy she'd come back. This is Joanna. This is Benedict. How are you feeling? I'm fine, thank you. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Oh, I'm just glad I could be of use. Is there anything you need? No. Let, uh, sit down, please. Have some coffee with me. Well, uh, do you live around here? You must be out of school for summer. I graduated high school six weeks ago. I've been living with the family for two years, taking care of them while I finished school. They decided to go to Europe for the summer, and since help's so easy to find over there, they... They threw you out? That doesn't seem fair. No, maybe not. But I get to live in the house until I find another job. I had an interview yesterday. In fact, I was on my way there when I saw your car. Did you get the job? I was rather late, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm sorry. It was my fault. Uh, what is it that you do? Maybe my husband could help you. I uh, cook, clean, keep house, that sort of thing. Just until I get to college in the fall. There are plenty of jobs in the city, but I'd rather not leave the island. I love it here. What about your parents? They're dead. Would you like to work here? Oh, you're, you're very kind. I, I don't think so. You see, I, I have an interview this afternoon. Oh, I see. 
Well, I, it would really be very helpful to me, and Tara needs the company. I wish you'd think about it. I, I will. Thank you. You did what? I offered her a job. Well, you said yourself I could use some help around here. Tara likes her. And I honestly don't think she has any place else to go. We know nothing about her. It's crazy bringing a total stranger into your house. We used a babysitting agency in Chicago. We they, didn't know anything. They didn't come and live with us. You're the one who's always saying we should have a housekeeper. Well, I've got one. I like her. And I want her for Tara. For Tara? Yes. Jeff, she, she has to be with someone closer to her own age. I just can't cope with her all the time, Jeff. And she's beginning to run wild. Oh. That's all right for you. You're not, you're not here all, all day. All right. You want to get Tara off your hands till you don't hire some strange girl off the street. It's not that I want Tara off my hands. You're just angry because I didn't ask you first. Oh. Hi. Hello. How did the interview go? I didn't get the job. I was wondering... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, come here. Jeff? This is Joanna. to go now. They seem like very nice people, my new family. So don't worry about me. It's only for the summer. And I promise I'll be here when you get home. You have a lovely time. Please take care of yourself. Nice fresh bagels, my favorite. Thank you. If you don't need anything else, I'll take Mrs. Benedict's tray up. Joanna, this is good. This is really quite good. <laughs> Thank you. Come on. 
it's not so bad, see? She used to scream with terror every time she saw one. Now she spends most of her time outside now. Either with Scotty or Joanna. If there's nothing else, Mrs. Benedict, I'll go to bed now. Don't you have a boyfriend waiting for you somewhere, Joanna? Hmm? You've been here three weeks. You haven't gone out one night yet. I'm very happy here, Dr. Benedict. Good night. Good night. Good night. She doesn't say much, does she? Oh, come on, admit it. She's a dream come true. She cooks like an angel. She runs the house without effort. And she vanishes into her room every night at 8.30. Yeah, but you gotta admit, it's odd for a girl her age never to go out. She's not exactly homely. I thought you'd notice that. Yeah, let's just be grateful that we found her. Or she found us. Have you ever wondered how she just appeared that day? Who cares as long as she stays? Wonder Girl did that too. I hate her. She's gorgeous. Good little thing, isn't she? Livens <laughs> things up, huh? Where did you find it? Uh, somewhere on the island. Doc, can I get you something? No. Had a long talk with Chantrell last night. Yeah? It seems there's a chance you might make the Dental Association board this year. Oh, you're kidding. I thought you had to be an original settler to get on the board. Listen, it's like everything else. It's not how long you've been around. It's who you know. Right? I guess. You know, uh, you know what young adults you stick together? You don't qualify for young adult status. Mm. So, uh, whereabouts did you live on the island before? I was around Seattle for a while before I came back. 
And then up in Skagit County on a farm. Is there something I can get for you, Doctor? I don't think so. Thank you. Paul? Yes, sir. Can I have that drink now? Yeah. Oh, of course. Just a soda. Coming right up. <laughs> One soda. I was thinking about that girl. Didn't you tell Liz that she'd worked here in the neighborhood before she came to you? Mm-hmm. The family across the bay. They went to Europe, left her behind. And she was telling Scotty that she lived in Seattle before that. Before that, on a farm. No, of course I don't expect you to remember them all. Uh, but this girl graduated in June. Her name is Redwine. Joanna Redwine. I see. And uh, there's no way that you can ch check. All right. All right. Thank you very much. Marilyn, you can send in Mrs. Baker now. It's your wife again, Doctor. On two. Are you coming home for dinner or not? Yes, I'd like to know now. Because Joanna needs to know how many people will be sitting down to dinner. Well, I'm terribly... Don't be so unreasonable. Well, I'm sorry, Jeff. I won't bother you again. Would salad be all right for dinner? Something light? Uh... Whatever you want. My husband will be late tonight. If you let me, I can help you. It doesn't matter. Mom, what's wrong? Excuse me. Oh. Thank you. Uh, I don't drink. Why not? Uh, I don't do it very well. I don't do a lot of things very well. Tell me. Tell you what? That I don't cook very well, that I don't drive very well, that I don't... That I'm a rotten mother. That my marriage has been a disaster for years. I can't blame him for not wanting to come home. I haven't had a drink in over a year. You see, this is my new start. Take her away from the mess she made in Chicago. Give her a big house to play with. That'll keep her occupied. And above all, don't let her drink around your friends. Liz, I don't think alcohol is the problem. My husband does. I think you need to focus in your life. I think you need some encouragement. Someone to share things with. Most of all, I think you need to change your attitude towards yourself. I can help you do that. 
I'm years older than you. I've never been so... so self-confident. Maybe it comes from not having anyone. <laughs> Only having myself to worry about. It doesn't really matter. What matters is you. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh, there you are, Eyes. What? Hello. Oh, my God. You must have bought out the store. Whatever happened to Hello? Whatever happened to our bank account? Very sorry, Dr. Benedict. I tried to stop her. It was so expensive. Thank you, John. I appreciate the thought. He has a girlfriend in Seattle. Did you know that? He denies it. I'm sure you've noticed he's been missing, missing. the last ferry a lot lately. Yes, I have. But I'm sure we can do something about that, can't we? Hello? Hi, it's Mrs. Montgomery. I, I'm sorry Mrs. Benedict is out right now. Can I take a message? Tell her I'll see her for tennis in the morning. All right. Thanks. Mrs. Montgomery can't make your tennis date tomorrow morning. Did you want to talk to her? It's the third time she's canceled. Would you mind if I took the evening off? There's a movie in town I'd really like to see. Of course not. But take the car if you want to. Thanks. I won't be late. certainly take care of herself. Come on to bed. I don't want to go to bed, Jeff. I'm going to wait up for Joanna.
Wake up. Did you want to get home? Is she all right? No, she didn't get back. What's this? It's a glass. And yes, it had alcohol in it. And yes, I drank it. Joanna says there's no reason that I can't have a drink occasionally. Joanna says. Joanna wasn't in Chicago when it was a fifth of scotch a day. I don't understand it. She would have called. There must have been an accident or something. I'm going to call the police. No, you are not. I want to talk to you. She's running your life. She spends more time with you than she does with Tara. Why is she so important to you? Why are you listening to an 18-year-old girl telling you that you can drink? You know you can't drink! Well, it's about time. My wife has been up all night worrying about you. If you plan to do this in the future, you better start looking for another job. I'm sorry I made you worry. I... I changed my mind about the film and went into Seattle instead. It got kind of late to call. See, I missed the last ferry. But if you'd rather I leave, then of course... No! I don't want you to leave. Why should she leave? You stay late a lot, and you're still here. Tara! Well, it's true. Joanna's the best thing that's ever happened to this house, and you're just jealous because Mommy and I think she's great. Maybe he's right. Maybe I don't belong here. Joanna, I think I'm quite capable of making that decision. And I'd like you to start breakfast, please. Check. Checkmate. Beautifully played. Once again, the pupil surpasses the master. Well, at least you don't let me win like you used to. No more. Counting my drinks again, Jeff? I'm having a good... Time. You want to ruin it again. Maybe I should take Liz home. She won't leave until the party's over. She can't drink. She's an alcoholic. Well, it's getting late. Better go. Thank you for a lovely evening. Why don't you like me? I don't know. But I find your manipulations fascinating. I, th I think it's... Excuse me. It's so good to I think it's time that we went home. I'm talking to Doc. Well, if you want to go, I'll see you later. All right. 
Thanks, Doc, for everything. Good night. Good night. Yeah. I'll see you home. Hmm. trying so hard to be attractive to you. But it doesn't seem to be working very well, does it? You shouldn't be here. told me about your problems, you know? All of it. It seems such a waste. Get out. If you spent a little more time around here, you'd make everyone happy. I don't know how to. Last night, when you were still at the party, your husband, I was getting ready for bed, and he came into the room. No nothing happened, really, Liz. He'd been drinking and... Um, But you don't think that I'd let him... Uh, no. No, John. I'm so sorry.
Liz, perhaps I should leave. No. No, I, I won't let you leave. We consider 18 no longer legally defines as a child, except in special cases. Also, we would need written authorization from the subject herself in order to release the information. I am looking for Joanna Redwine. How could I possibly get her to sign a release if I don't know where she is? Well, I will concede that you do have a problem there, Doctor. There's no information you can give me. If you'll excuse me, my phone. Farragut? Oh, yes, Mr. Ellis. Mr. Ellis, I was calling you about those reimbursement forms you have not filed with our office for the past three months. Now, surely you must realize that there can be no, no compensation to you unless we receive them. Good, I will see you at five. We are not able to help you anymore. Thank you very much. Mrs. Wilford. Uh, that's right. My name is Lindquist. I'm a doctor. I wonder if you'd mind talking to me about a patient of mine. Joanna Redwine. What do you want? I understand she fostered with you a few years ago. Did she tell you to come here? Not exactly. You are her doctor? Stay away from her. Send her to someone else. If you don't, she'll regret it. Would you please tell me exactly what happened? It's very important. She murdered my baby. Oh, they couldn't prove it. They, they said it was a crib death, but, but it wasn't. She did it. Joanna did it. I'll never believe any differently. Excuse me, sir. The poor woman obviously believed it. So I spent the afternoon at the library going through old newspaper files and I found it. Just two small paragraphs. Mrs. Welford's baby did die and she did accuse Joanna. And did the police charge Joanna? No, they didn't. But... There are no buts. I would think that you'd have better things to do with your time than spread malicious rumors about an 18-year-old girl. Excuse me. I'm sorry, Doc. I, I kind of agree with her. Why are you doing this? I have this feeling about the girl. I, I may be wrong, Jeff, and... I'm sorry. Let's forget it. We're taking the boat out on Sunday. Would you care to join us? I'll check with Liz. We're going to miss you. I doubt that. Hey, you're the one that's offended. He's just trying to make peace. The least you could do is meet him halfway. Doc is not the reason that I'm not going, all right? Let's go. Thank uh -huh. 
You made love to her that night, didn't you? Were you thinking of me? Don't be ridiculous. Am I? I don't believe you think that. <laughs> You're just a child. I was never a child. It doesn't matter, Jeff. I'd be good for you. Hang on to this. Get the net. Get it, Scotty. And a oh, boy. Look at the four size. Five pounds. Here, whop it in the head. It's harder. Come on, Come you on, have to kill Sarah. it. Oh, I can't. Here, just give it to me. Yes, Mrs. Levin, I understand that you can't give me the information, but when is Mr. Farragut coming back from vacation? Uh, the fact is, I'm not sure that I explained clearly why I'm so anxious to get a hold of Miss Redwine. I have certain information, oh, something in the nature of a bequest. Yeah, oh, it's very, very good news for her, yes. So. I wondered if Mr. Farragut could clear it with his superiors to give me the address of the last place she fostered. Yes, well, that is very kind of you. Liz, this is important to me. I'd like you to go to the party. I'd like you to stay sober, and I'd like you to behave yourself. I don't want to go. I don't care if you get on the board or not, and I certainly don't care with Barbara and Tom. Well, that's pretty obvious. You canceled three dates with Barbara in two weeks. She's just trying to be friendly, that's all. Friendly? She's the one who canceled, not me. Oh, come on. You know that's not true. Are you calling me a liar? Barbara said she called three... Barbara said. Yes, Barbara said. And you believe her. I'm your wife. Then why don't you try behaving like one? That's all he cares about. His success. How people think of him. Damn about me. I think you should go to the dinner. Why? Why not? Be bright, witty, charming, totally stunning. Pull him over. Besides, you might have a lot of fun. Fun? With those awful people? Think about it. May have an idea there. Maybe I will go. Liz, I almost forgot. Tara wants to have Scotty and a couple friends over some evening to play records, that's all. Fine. As long as you're here. So catch me now. Cause I might. Cause I might not be here tomorrow night Catch me now Before I fade away Don't you think it's
it's time to put the baby to bed. I think that's a very good idea. Time has made the man you see before you now. And time alone can change what time has done. Since I can't find a way to change the past somehow, I have to change the things that I've become. Going down here. Go back to bed. Oh, what are you complaining about? I behaved. I will not go through this again. Chicago was enough. I was magnificent. Even Tom said so. Sitting on the edge of my seat, I didn't know what you... What is this? Joanna! They had a party. I said they could. Teenagers have parties, you know? Oh, party? I take my wife out for the first time in months. I come home to this. Being so miserable. Half the liquor is gone. And you know they were smoking pot. My God, Liz. Tara's only 12 years old. She's just a baby. I thought Joanna had more sense than this. Joanna! Get down here! Why don't you just go on up to her room again? I'm sure she's in bed by now. And what's that supposed to mean? You know precisely what it means. No, I don't know what it means, and I'm sick and tired of your innuendo. I'm going to put a stop to it right now. She leaves tomorrow morning. Oh, if you have any idea of firing Joanna, forget it! If she leaves, I leave. And so does Tara. You throw 15 years of marriage away because of that girl? Oh, come on. We haven't had a marriage for years. Ever since Tara was born... Ever since Tara was born? She's been the only important thing in your life. Well, she's certainly not important in yours. And neither am I. She's my daughter. And you're not going to take her away from me. You don't even know, Tara. I don't know what to do. I wish I had the guts to leave him. So leave. I can't. <laughs> it's too late to start over now. So leave for a few days. Might get his attention. Let him try to do without you for a while. You mean go to a motel or something? Not tell him where I am? Sure. Drive up the peninsula. Find a quiet place. Stay a couple days. I'll take care of Tara. And him. Liz, you need some time alone got to sort out your thoughts and you can't do that here. You're right.
I am gonna go. Are you going away? Uh. Yeah. Just for a little while. But you're coming back. Of course I am, honey. I'm... It's just for a few days. Okay? I'll let you on. I know where I am. What? Why is she going? She had a fight with your father and she's going away for a while. They've had fights before and she never left. That's because I wasn't here. Now, Tara, as soon as your mother leaves, I want you to go upstairs and clean their room. That's your job. And don't bother running to tell her. She suggested it. I want you to do it, Tara. I don't feel very well. I'm going to bed. You'll feel better in the morning. I hate her, Abby. I hate her. Oh, she'd never come. Why can't they see? It was over you. The fight. I'm flattered, but that's not entirely true. She seems so lonely all the time. Lonely? Maybe you're right. I thought this house, the seclusion, was what she wanted. Maybe I just wasn't listening. It's strange, you know. Uh, two things that I, I've really loved have been my job and my family. I'm really good at what I do. Do you know that? And I'm proud of it. Liz doesn't care. She stopped caring years ago. Lonely. Yeah. I have left her alone. I thought that's what she wanted. What do you talk to? Huh? I'd like it if you talk to me. Jeff, I need someone like you. Slickers are on the grouper. Don't tell me what to do. Do as you're told, or you won't come with us. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing. Can I see you later? Not tonight, Scotty. Maybe tomorrow. Hey, you said that yesterday and the day before. What did I do? You didn't do anything. Now get off my back, okay? Hey. If you'd rather not go sailing, then we won't. Don't be silly. Besides, someone has to chaperone you and Tara. Here, put this on. Oh, why do I have to wear one of these? You don't swim as well as we do.
In sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, through the Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God our brother Scott, and we commit his body to this ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious unto him. The Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give him peace. Amen. There's nothing to eat. All my plants are dead, Tara. Everything is dead in this house. Death and dying. Poor Scott. Poor babe. Poor Doc. Where's Joanna? I wish she was dead, too. What a terrible thing to say, Tara. You're supposed to take care of this house. You're supposed to cook and clean. That's what you're paid for. There's nothing to eat and everything's all dirty. Be quiet. I won't. I won't be quiet. I hate you. I wish you'd go away. Stop it! Stop it! Hold you. Go away. Just go away. Leave me alone. I didn't even want to come in here! I never wanted this house! It's all for you! Couldn't you somebody else? Couldn't you like somebody? Pretend you're a wonderful wife! One lie after another. I can't do this. <laughs> Mama, please. Please don't. Mama. Mama. <laughs> She's going crazy. <laughs> Please stay home for a few days. Don't leave.
Tara, finish polishing the table for me. I've got to go to the store. Polish it yourself. I talked to your mother this morning. They want to send you away to school. She asked me what I thought. I said I'd think about it. Well, I'm thinking about it, Tara. The police are at Doc's house. They've come to get you, and when they ask me, I'm going to tell them that you let Scotty drown. I can't find out anything about her. You can. Doug, you watched Scotty grow up. Doc? I'd like to help you, but I don't know what I can do. Why don't you give it a couple of weeks and get over the worst of it? Then maybe... Maybe what? You're not listening to me. There is something wrong with that girl. Oh, forget it. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. I have to talk to you. I'm sorry, Doc. Are you? I realize how you feel. But just for a moment, couldn't you turn it around? It's very hard for me to come to you. You know a little about me. You know I was fostered. The Welfords were the seventh or eighth family I was sent to. I was 12 years old then. I've never had a family of my own. Being here is the closest it's ever been. I've never had what Tara has. I've never experienced what you and Scotty had together. Please. Please understand. He was the last person in the world I'd ever hurt. I loved him like a little brother. And he died. But it wasn't my fault. It really wasn't. You saw the police. That's what this is all about, isn't it? Why are you afraid of the police, Joanna? I'm not afraid of anyone. Stop prying into my life. Just leave me alone. I won't do that. I don't understand. This is a simple request for an address. What is the name of the supervisor? Will you transfer me? Well, will you please ask him to call me at this number? Yes, I'll stay here. Thank you very much. Linquist left these for you. It's 
Is Mom all right? Joanna, where are you going? Hello, this is Tara Benedict. Is my father there? Fifteen minutes ago. Do you know if he was heading straight home? You don't? Yes, Mrs. Levin. I quite understand, and I have not the slightest intention of bothering them. Live, see? Yes. One, two, seven, two, Oakhurst. Lane, and is there a phone number? I told you I would be. But only for a little while. You see, the family that I've been taking care of want me to stay with them. They really don't know how to do without me. And they're such nice people. Will someone answer the phone? I have to get this place cleaned up. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't do it before. Nicholas? Anne? I'll clean up and, and start dinner. But I can't stay long because I have to cook dinner at home, too. David, can you please get the phone? Thank you. Nicholas, how many times have I told you when you take something out of the refrigerator, you close the door? Don't tell me they didn't turn on the electricity. I called them. They'll be wondering where I am. your mother she shouldn't be asleep like this is this a joke i hope so i'm starving where is she upstairs she's been acting really weird today i can't eat this dad <laughs> no go make yourself a sandwich upstairs
Mr. David. Tara. I want to talk to you. What about? Stop, will you? Let's go for it. Is it bothering you? Yes. It's bothering me. Other things are bothering me, too. I don't understand what's going on in this house. It's a mess. Look at it. Wife is upstairs out cold. My child is back with her TV and her doll. You were so good for us when you first came. No. Things are worse than they were. And why? It's not your fault. We involved you in our problems too deeply. You're still so young. But whatever the reasons, last night shouldn't have happened. I have to ask you to leave. Right away. I'll take you to Seattle in the morning. Now don't worry. I'll see what you have money and the place to stay. I'm sorry. Can't get away from me down here, Tara.
Mama, please wake up! Mama? Mama? What's wrong? Put it down. Be quiet, Anne. I don't want to do this. But you wouldn't listen to me tonight. And you'll be gone in the morning. Who is Anne? What are you talking about? Nobody's going anywhere. Stop it! Haven't you lied to me enough? You said I was part of this family. I didn't come between you and David. I didn't have to. Why should I be punished? I've taken care of Nicholas. And I've listened to your problems. Problems. You have nothing to be unhappy about. You have everything except time for each other. You're insane. Deserve any of it, and I hate you for that. Joanna! No! 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 Joanna! Get her out of here! Oh, I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Call the police! They're on the way. I didn't listen before. Don't you see? They didn't want to hear me. I listened to you. I helped you. I took care of you. Just like all the others. But it's never enough. I always have to go away and find another family. I always have to start again. <laughs> and I can't do it anymore. <laughs> it's too hard. Why is it always like that? I don't understand. when I never had the chance to choose. Not a piece of blank paper to be scribbled on, filed away, and then taken out of one drawer and put into another over and over again. Feelings, the life, the soul. I love you all so much. And I try to be good to you. But I, I, I don't know what to do to make you care. Please take care of yourself. 